Hi guys, super excited here. Um, as you may know or not know, there's been a lot of new developments for the Sega Mega Drive or Genesis, especially um, some quality games going, coming out this year or early next year or never. <laughs> One of the first that got released and is actually designed by a professional game developer um, is Tanglewood. I just got my copy from the post office. Super excited. Let's open this package up. Yeah, okay. Didn't go too well. Rah! Yeah. Yay! Yes. Yay. So, here you can see the box. I chose the uh, European look. Um, black cartridge case. It has one of those uh, shiny seals. I got it off pretty nicely. Let's put it on the inside of the box. First up, we greet it with a a postcard. Nice. Cartridge itself looks uh, really solid quality. Um, the label printing might be a bit off like it's kind of pixelated I don't know if that's the idea but it feels really solid and nice the instruction booklet just like classic Mega Drive manual only in English I assume quality is super nice and it's in color yeah okay let's check out this game Let's turn on the Mega Drive. I'm playing this in a Mega Drive which has a 32X attached to it. So awesome that you see a new game on the Mega Drive in 2018. Okay, I actually have no idea what to do because I didn't read the manual playing this with a six button game controller I had the steam key since August but I decided not to use it because you know Okay, it's the game itself is it's gorgeous. C is jump apparently. A doesn't whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, that's no damage. That's cool. Oh yeah. I'm really liking this game. I'm picking up stuff but I'm not sure what I'm picking up. Hmm, okay. See that I'm jumping farther when I'm leaving this place. Ah, oh, aha. Yep. Queen. Okay. Man, I'm really, I'm sorry guys. I'm a bit overwhelmed here. The backgrounds are a bit on the plain side, but I'm not sure if that's like an artistic choice. But the, the foreground graphics, woo, let's run it. Okay, if I touch that one, I die. I didn't think that would be an enemy.
let's get into the butthole Still need to get the hang of this game. Ooh. What's this then? It's something special, I, I'm assuming. <laughs> Is that a baddie? I really should read the manual. <laughs> Awesome looking game so far. The controls are really smooth. Really no com complaints there. When I read the like the um, when I saw videos, I thought it sometimes felt kind of stiff, but it doesn't feel stiff at all right now. Ah, okay. I probably need to push this thing into the wink into the lamp is he happy? it's cooking okie dokie mm, stop turning Also, something I think. Oh, I missed that jump for sure. Love the music here, love the graphics, love the the whole forest vibe. It kind of reminds me of uh, like the Castle of Illusion, the that series, like World of Illusion, which, which isn't the greatest game, but it's really fun and beautiful. Well, it's a great game. It's just an easy game. I'm, I seem unable to get there. Baking that, ch that dude. Well, these are my first impressions. I'm really loving the game graphically so far. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, see you guys on another video. Um, if you want to buy this game, I think you still can. Um, check out uh, Big Evil Corporation, which is just one dude actually who made this game. Um, it's also coming out for the Dreamcast, I believe, and you can also purchase a ROM file on Steam, which is much cheaper. Then you can just uh, put it on an EverDrive and also play it on your Mega Drive. But I prefer these really delicious, modern, published, boxed games. So yeah, that's it for me, 16 Big Jim. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys later. Bye.